Bitcoin is freedom money and Canada is doing a great job marketing that feature for us. I'm Natalie Brunel for Bitcoin Magazine reporting in El Salvador following the developments in Canada over the Freedom Convoy truckers and the government response. Now to catch you up, the Freedom Convoy started as a protest against the country's COVID-19 mandates with the truckers advocating for the end of restrictions and for economic freedom. Now a GoFundMe account was set up to support the truckers efforts raising nearly 10 million Canadian dollars but GoFundMe shut down the ability to distribute those funds to truckers because the company said the fundraiser violated its policies. Now, this is where Bitcoiners became impassioned to step in. They raised more than 21 Bitcoins for the Freedom Convoy. Other smaller platforms also tried to collect donations to give to truckers. And this week, the Canadian government's response was to invoke a 1988 Emergencies Act to cut off the protesters' access to those donated funds. Take a look at this viral clip. We are announcing the following immediate actions. First, we are broadening the scope of Canada's anti-money laundering and terrorist financing rules so that they cover crowdfunding platforms and the payment service providers they use. These changes cover all forms of transactions, including digital assets, such as cryptocurrencies. The illegal blockades have highlighted the fact that crowdfunding platforms and some of the payment service providers they use are not fully captured under the Proceeds of Crime and Terrorist Financing Act. Our banks and financial institutions are already obligated to report to the Financial Transactions and Reports Analysis Centre of Canada, or FinTrack. As of today, all crowdfunding platforms and the payment service providers they use must register with FinTrack and they must report large and suspicious transactions to FinTrack. Now you heard that right. The government can now freeze Canadians' bank accounts if authorities suspect you have donated $25 or more to the trucking convoy. Now, responses from Bitcoiners came pouring in, including myself. Let's take a look at some of those tweets. Preston Pish said, quote, you think that's money in your account? That's an entry in someone else's database who can decide at any moment whether you're allowed to spend it or not. Do your opinions differ from theirs? Got hashtag Bitcoin. Robert Breedlove said, quote, the tyrannical Canadian government proved that fiat money cannot be owned by its users. It can only be rented. If you want to own your money and immunize yourself to political BS, then use Bitcoin. And El Salvador's President Nayib Bukele sharing the speech saying, quote, are these the people who like to give lessons to other countries about democracy and freedom? This is one of the top ranking countries in the democracy index. Your credibility on these topics is now worth zero. And I also had to share this tweet by lawyer and YouTuber Viva Frey, which many Bitcoiners retweeted. He has been documenting the convoy and said, quote, don't worry, Justin Trudeau isn't calling in the military. He is just authorizing banks to unilaterally freeze your accounts on the basis of suspicious alone, no court order required with legal immunity. I hope everyone realizes how much more dangerous this is than the military. And if you recall, Elon Musk has also come out in the past praising the protesters, saying the government response was a path to tyranny. Now the Emergencies Act measure took immediate effect, but Justin Trudeau has a week to get support from Canada's House of Commons and Senate. And for Bitcoiners, this is one of the most compelling arguments and value scenarios, value propositions for the digital asset, because unlike legacy banking accounts that they are going to freeze, Bitcoin, especially if self-custodied, cannot be shut down and cannot be confiscated because it's not run on a centralized network controlled by a single traditional payment provider. Now, of course, we will be following this story and bring you updates as they become available. Make sure to follow BitcoinMagazine.com.